Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the lab. And today we got a suggestion from a subscriber. Can we test the output of this thing and this thing under load? So let's get right into the video. So in today's video, we are doing uh, something I have never done on camera. So I usually do all my power supplies uh, testing off camera or I just have a little demo for you. But I actually had not tested this thing yet uh, with the oscilloscope and uh, see exactly how good of a DC are we getting from the output. So. That is actually something uh, that we need to take a look at because it is really important whenever you're powering sensitive electronics. Obviously, this is not designed for sensitive electronics, so this test does not matter to us anyway. But I thought it would be fun. It will be fun to see what, uh, how good of a DC are we actually getting under a load so uh, yeah that will be definitely interesting so uh, let's actually hook everything up and I will tell you about the test setup in a second by now if you haven't figured it out there are videos in cards for you to click on and uh, it will prompt you to the videos where I make this power supply and this rectifier so, a couple parts of the, of the power supply and then two parts of the rectifier. Really cool, really easy things to make. It seems like a lot of people want to have an AC power supply and that is totally understandable. It's really powerful for what it is. And you know, you can have AC and DC if you want to, but you need a good rectifier. So, that's why I have this rectifier right here. So, uh, what are we doing? We will turn it on, and as you see, makes a humming sound, and we can see the coil glows red hot, and we have a little bit over, uh, what is it, something like 60 volts right now, uh, 57 volts, I will actually uh, check it. I think it's 57 so let's see no cutting no editing in this part so I will check the voltage on well while I actually film let's see I think it's 57 59.6 okay oh well, that that was close 59.6 so you, you have 60 volts um, DC and we have a lot of heat rising up here a lot of heat it's it's even hard to hold my hand the top now just another shot of it as you can see it's hard to hold my hand on top it's very very hot and uh, you know, if you don't believe me, you know, oh god, it's it's not hot. It's not hot. This power supply can't supply that much power. There is a paper towel. I just rolled up, and look. You see, caught fire. Caught fire. You see. So I have the power supply off right now, and uh, you clearly saw we had a almost a 10 amp according to this meter whoa now uh, you know it would be bad if I didn't have another amp meter for you to show so there we go master crap amp meter right here and uh, I'm going to clamp on this guy and we have 8.3 amps 8.3 amps 
we'll call it DAS. So at 8.3 amps at 60 uh, volts uh, DC, well we have DC and AC amps are different so that uh, you have to remember. But uh, now I will measure AC uh, voltage that is coming out from here and uh, let's see what it is. So as you can see we clearly have 50.8 volts and uh, we are outputting uh, more volts in DC. We have 60 volts so we have a 10 volt uh, increase over the rectifier because AC and DC power is different. You calculate it differently. There is a there is a magic number involved, which is, which is usually uh, uh, what is it? It's not forty percent, but it, 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 it's something like that. I'm pretty sure that there would be people that uh, will be able to tell me how to calculate it in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it because you can't really find it in the internet. I am quite uh, disappointed. You can't find an easy way to calculate it on the internet, so that doesn't quite make sense. So let's actually connect the oscilloscope and see what is going on. Let me have a load. Ha! I figured it out. The problem is very, very simple. The stupidity, okay? The stupidity went through the roof. You put a freaking giant electromagnet by this very sensitive device and no wonder you're getting freaking the 60 volt 60 hertz freaking wave on your screen. What are you expecting? I have no idea. That is absolutely stupid what I have done. Now problem had been fixed, you know, so very good, very good. So essentially, I have the scope set up and excuse me for the sound, somebody decided to cut the grass. Okay, they're gone. Anyway, so what is happening on the scope? We have zero line right there and we have a whole eight divisions up, 10 volts per division, uh, 10 X on this on the probe one one volt per division here 10 volts per division 80 volt resolution okay and we are set at two microseconds per division okay and hopefully that will help you to see the signal and somebody's cutting the grass again so I am turning on the PSU and as you can see we have this waveform, which you can actually see now. The coal is, grow is glowing red, red hot. And uh, that is all. Uh -huh. Good, you say. Okay, well, you see now we actually do the measurements. 6 volt uh, drop. Uh, 6 volt ripple. Okay, we got a 6 volt ripple under 10 amps. Okay guys, so I did something really stupid and something really crazy. So it's very unrealistic I will ever use uh, that much of power. But let's be realistic, anything can happen. So I have a one and a half or actually even two millimeter. Uh -huh micron wire from a dryer okay dryer uh you know it's it's really thick really thick wire and uh pretty much you know we are pulling more than this mirror can show um you know i measured that it. it's 28 amps what we are pulling now is it uh is it true uh, we are about to find out, but uh, I'm just going to spread it out so we can do longer uh, tests because it will heat up 
really, really fast, and that is not good for us. So. Pretty much, uh, I am ready. Mother on speed dial, and we have it hooked up. So, uh, I will just show you the amperage right here. 20. Oh! <laughs> uh, 26 amps is the meter actually going more yeah it's, it's, it's going over its range <laughs> oh my goodness well, what's the voltage I, I want to see the voltage okay you're almost set <laughs> 45 volts <laughs> 45 volts uh, at 30 amps, that's almost 1500 watts. I would say 1300 watts. That's a lot. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I really don't want to see the ripple uh, on this uh, thing. Uh, you know, even though we have a lot of capacitance there, we have something like 8000 microfarads. Of Capacitance in this thing, it still can't. Uh, it it still can't sustain that uh, current. Uh, <laughs> that is absolutely insane. And yeah, like the breaker still works. Uh -huh. So this is the oscilloscope, and as always, we are one volt per division, 10 x on the probe. So 10 volts per division, and we are at, uh, well, for some reason I have to adjust it all the time, so this is a 0, 0.0 volts, so uh, we clearly saw that we have about 45 volts on that meter right there, and uh, on the rectifier, so uh, let's actually see what we are getting on the scope, and uh, by experimenting with it, we figured out that it's the bottom, bottom portion of the ripple that we're getting is the voltage that that meter is reading. So you should see for the 45 volts here. And I will actually predict that uh, it will be, it will be, uh, the ripple will be just about this center line because it's four divisions will be about half the way. So let's actually turn it on and see. And uh, well, no, that is different. That is different. But uh, actually, well, I can't really have it on for a long time, but you can see that we have about 50, uh, what is it? 54 volts. So that is really close. That is a really, a really close to what the meter had showed us, 54, uh, well, 40, right? F 44 volts, uh, and uh, no, that is not bad, so pretty cool. So guys, we are almost done, and you know, this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, when I built it, you know, it was a breakthrough. You know, it, the design is really simple. There is nothing advanced in inside of this thing. Just a simple one-point control and a breaker for this power supply and just the rectifier and the caps and the voltmeter here. So you know, there is nothing really to it, but the results are absolutely amazing. We have a beautiful metal case. We have good functionality and we have a reasonable performance. Uh, the ripple is a little bit big, it is a concern, so I might have to add some good capacitance to it to get it out. But I'm pretty sure there are filters that will allow for, you know, these things to go away. That will be really, really good if you guys can help me with that. But that's about it for this video. Thank you.